Hi friends, I'm Siano Jolota. Welcome to the MCQs from the Board of Studies portal. We have already covered every possible question from the module, which is there on our YouTube channel. You all can browse through that. Secondly, in case you wish to be enrolling for a complete course, link is there in the description. You all uh, can enroll for it. <clears throat> the moment you will be enrolling, lectures will start. You can watch the lectures on your laptop or app or the Android app or iOS app, wherever you all want. One day you all can watch that on the laptop, second day on the Android app, wherever. And uh, you still have some doubts, you can write to us on our Telegram ID at the rate age next. One good news for CA Inter, all our lectures of the previous batches will be coming on YouTube in two languages, English in the mix and English free of cost for everybody. These lectures will be there uh, accompanied with the homework section, with the test, with the summaries of each question and with the ranking of each and every question. Uh, these lectures are enough for anybody to be getting 90 plus in costing. So many students take advantage of that. Now a bonus, it will be all free for everybody. So do spread this, especially if you have friends or relatives who are going to be there in C Inter. So let's start it off. This is our chapter number six, strategic revenue management. And the question for today is, which of the following is not a product sustaining cost? Okay not a product sustaining activity, sorry. Now, what do you mean by product sustaining activity? I would like to be answering that thing first before I try to come over to like, you know, whatever are the four options and the answer. So which one of them is not a product sustaining activity? Now, what do you mean by product sustaining activity? These are activities which are performed to support production or sale of a specific type of product. These costs are not dependent upon the volume of production. Now, to give you a small example, Suppose whenever you have to produce a product, try to be thinking what activities are required before that. Sir, I have to do research and development for that product. I have to make the designs of that product. Okay. Then once a product will be getting made, we have to do its testing. All these routines, all these things will be only done once. No, they are not dependent upon how many units you are going to be producing of that product. It's not like direct material or direct labor. Okay. These are the costs that are incurred. These are the activities that are done once only as such. Okay. So therefore the production can start to take place. Okay. These are nothing but product sustaining activities. Okay. It, it could be say the designing cost. It could be say like, you know, that a product has to be passing through which processes all those things we will lay down once only for a certain product. Okay. That it has to be passing to process one, process two, process three, then again to process two, and then it will become a finished product. Okay, now this kind of a routine has to be laid down once only. These are product sustaining activities. Okay, these are only done once. I'm not saying product will not be passing through all these processes each and every time. No, no, no. But these things have to be thought of once only. These are product sustaining activities. Okay, so therefore the question is, which of the following is not a product sustaining activity? Okay. Designing a product or production process. I guess this will only happen once here. Whenever the production of any product is about to be starting for the first time, you will design a product only once and then the same design will be there. Second, drawing process charts. Process charts could mean like, you know, a product will be passing through which, which processes, all those chartings will be done once only. And then once the production starts, every product will keep on passing through those processes here. Then third, developing special testing routines. Now, again, these testing routines in this case will be developed once only, you know, as such, and then they will be getting used again. See, it's a bit like this in case you all don't understand. Suppose you bought a new house you will get the designs done once only. Okay. So therefore those are kind of these costs. Okay. And then once the house is made, some costs will keep on getting incurred, say on a daily basis, like, you know, your ration up and so on. Okay. Then the maintenance of the house, those will become the normal cost. Okay. But all those costs will only be incurred once. No. Fourth one, direct material consumption for each product. Beta, I think so direct material consumption is not a product sustaining activity. This will be incurred each time the product is made here. Okay, so if you produce 10 units, you're going to be incurring this cost 10 times. But above three costs will only get incurred once. Okay, over the entire lifetime of the product, I think. So therefore those are product sustaining activities. So which one of them is not answer should be four, I think. Let me look at the explanation of the institute and then come back for the final answer. The correct answer is direct material consumption for each product is a unit level activity. 
This cost is dependent upon the volume. Product sustaining activities are activities performed to support production or sale of a specific type of product. These costs are not dependent upon the volume of production. Examples would include designing a product, drawing the process charge, developing the special testing routines. In fact, those were nothing but the first three answers here as such. So therefore, correct answer should be the fourth one. That is the correct answer. My job for today is altogether done. I request you all to watch all these lectures, the QR code of which is over here of the module okay these are all the mcqs from the module which are put on a single uh, playlist ensure that you all watch them i'll see you all next time in another mcq till then take care guys bye